Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making homemade chaffle taco salad bowls. Super easy mix to make. You're going to need one egg to a heaping one third cup of cheese of your choice. I like the Taco Bell seven layer blend. I also like the Mexican blend, the triple blend. The options are limitless. I have our ground beef already cooking. I have a half a pound of ground beef and I have my homemade seasoning, which you'll be able to see in the link above. The recipe for that is super easy. It's better than any store made seasoning that we've made. Easy batches to make. I usually do five batches, which one batch will equal one pound of ground beef. We tend to add a little bit more. We like it a little bit spicier because that's how we roll. But super easy mix here. We use the organic eggs from Costco in my egg keeper because I'm very clumsy. <laughs> so this is a nice rigid egg keeper instead of the plasticky ones. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you buy your eggs from Costco. So these are fantastic. We have four of them. You can also see that in the Amazon link. So we've got this. You're going to make one egg, one third cup heaping cheese for me because I like a little bit more cheese. Um, mix that together and then we're going to make it into a chaffle bowl. If you've watched my mini dash waffle maker, you'll know how much I enjoy it and I use it all the time. So Bill picked up this double, double, two at a time, chaffle bowl maker. I love it. It's fantastic. So we can sit down and eat together. It's star blue. The link will be in the description below. Super easy. I've let it preheat. Guess where I got it? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Okay, so the one egg and one third cup of cheese mix will make two. Of, listen to that sizzle. Listen to that sizzle. Listen to that. Listen to that sizzle. 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 It'll make two. Oh my gosh. These are my favorite. I absolutely love these. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to set this. For five minutes. Let me get my timer set for me. It's a homemade super easy mix to do for your taco seasoning and you can spice it up as you like. We like it a little bit spicier so we tend to put a little bit more chili powder in it. These will take about five minutes is the time frame that I like. So you can play with it. Some people like it at four because it makes it a little bit um, softer. Five minutes gives a little bit of a crunch. I like the crunch. Do you hear that? That's the timer signaling our waffle bowls are done. So be careful because the steam is hot. Oh, it smells wonderful. Just gonna put those right on there. Let me go ahead and get those cooling. And again, I've made the pre-made the mixture one egg. This one is going to be the Mexican blend cheese. You can use any type of cheese that you have in the house. I always have tons of cheese. Um, so I'm gonna do triple cheese at the top layer because yes, you can never have too much cheese. Because yes, you can never have too much cheese. Because yes, you can never have too much cheese. Chihuahua cheese is really good. You could do mozzarella cheese. So depending on what type of chopable you're gonna be making, your choices are limitless. So we're gonna set that for another five minutes. While the chaffle bowls are cooking, I went ahead and did some prep. So we have our tomatoes. Bill's gonna love me. We have sour cream. We have the cilantro lime crema. You can buy this from Costco. Bill's favorite, introduced from Keizu Keto. So thank you guys, um, one of his new favorites. So spicing up taco a little bit more some sour cream because he's really missing the Taco Bell Taco Supremes with everything on it. So I'm replicating that for him today in a healthier way. So the finished product, two of them anyway. We are going to taste them now. Yes, we are. I'm so excited. They're so yummy. It smells fantastic. Mine is like a little Taco Bell Taco Supreme. And I'm plain and simple. I just like lettuce, meat, and cheese. Put it all on there, I say. Yuck. Here we go. We'll give it a try. Yep. 
That's really good. I like mm -hmm. the crunch of the, the bowl. Mm -hmm. That's five minutes versus four minutes. So again, play with it, see which. What cheese you like best and how long you want it cooked. Mm -hmm. I want mine cooked longer like this because I like the crispiness. Everybody says we burn everything, but I'll tell you what, I prefer that crunch when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I took quite a big bite, but they're fantastic, super simple, super easy, and super wonderful. I have to do the math on these and see how many I could eat. Probably oh. two. <laughs> That's really good. I would highly recommend chucking these out. And that little double waffle chaffle bowl maker, just figured it'd be cute for you. It's Found fantastic. I love it. It's nice that we can do two at a time so we can actually. Or if I'm just making lunch, I can make two and just be done instead right. of, you know, one, another, another. That's what I do with the chocolate maker. I've, I almost bought two of them. Because I want the heart shaped want. one. Yeah. I know. <laughs> because sometimes you want more than one and then, then you got to wait another four or five minutes. Yeah. So in this case, you get both of your bowls immediately. The seasoning on the taco meat. Perfect. Yeah, I got to say, that's better than regular taco mix, too. It doesn't have all the extra sugar and, mm -hmm. and junk in it. Yeah, we linked that above. Mm -hmm. But uh, super simple, even I can make that. Super simple to make. I usually do a couple batches at one time. Yeah, like five pounds worth, and then she sections it out, and then we just grab the pouch. It says one, one pound. Right. I usually cook a little less than a pound because I like it spicier. And then that's how I make so that my seasoning mix is a little more than the one pound. Mm -hmm. Excuse me while I'm eating because this is really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Mm -hmm. oh I'm goodness. eating the seven layer Taco Bell cheese and Bill's eating the Mexican blend cheese. And then oh. we have the triple cheese on top. I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference, really. You probably wouldn't. They're both but, good. But it's darn good. Because mm -hmm. once you start throwing in the sour cream and the, the um, cilantro or whatever, that, that green stuff from Costco, which is really good, by the way. Yeah, you start putting all that in there and you get all those flavors. And then, of course, the taco meat tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Mm, excuse me making a mess, but... Pink plate cubs. One That's is almost good. enough for me. Bill usually eats two. I would eat two of these. Yeah, they're a little smaller. What, uh, four inch, I believe. Yeah, four inch dimension diameter on the chocolate bowl. But I like the fact you can make two at once. Mm -hmm. That helps. Makes things faster. They should make, Dash should make like a double chocolate maker. Mm -hmm. Or you just buy two. That's what Amazon's for. Add to cart. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> the heart one's the one I want next. No, okay. not really, because really. Okay. I get it. Valentine's Day's coming. It is. They make a pumpkin taco maker, too. Mmm. It's orange. I love orange. Clean plate club. Well, not clean plate, but empty plate. That counts, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Hope you enjoy this if you try it. Take care. See ya. That was really good. Listen to that sizzle. Listen to that sizzle. Listen to that. Listen to that sizzle. 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 Sizzle.